Now this is the terrace and Property Limbrights is bringing you to Pongo today. Alexa, uh, turn kitchen lights to blue. Hey. Okay. Uh, nah, <laughs> One of the newest ECs that stated to MOP in May of 2022. Should we do that again? Hey Alexa, uh, turn master bedroom lights to orange. Alright. Okay. There are the colors. Hey Alexa, turn master bedroom lights to pink. Whoa. Okay. Alright, so enough playing a bit. So. I'll bring you up to one of the rare top floor three beta premium units, fully renovated, ready for you to move in. Let's go check out the place. So we're right here in the unit and before we show you around the home, I think just some key plus points of this home, smart home enabled for some of the lighting systems. What our owners have done is they have reconfigured the entire layout. Look at this wall line, it's all flush with wood wall panelling. These are all laminate so they are scratch resistant as well as water resistant. Look at this beautiful projector screen, fantastic for you to do your movie screening with your family. This is actually the built-in console area, cubby holes below to put in your sound system. Right behind this wall line, these are storages, there's actually a shoe cabinetry space located right behind over here. Here. This is also where the original DB box is and not only that if you look upwards as well in the four corners of the living room You already have the wirings for your sound system already installed Let's also have a look at where we are here today in Pongo We are actually adjacent along Pongo Road as well as Hdale Plains away from the hustle and bustle of where Waterway Point and Pongo MRT is located Down the road we have the Pongo Polyclinic as well as Oasis Terrace North Shore Plaza Pongo Plaza So for the terraces developer is King Leong TOP in 2017 and heading towards May of 2020 to achieving its MOP five year status. So with that, if you are a buyer who's a Singaporean or if you're a Singapore PR kind of citizenship, then of course you're eligible to purchase the terrace units right here. So in every tower, there are only a total of four units, kind of a point block setup right here, single loading kind of fashion. If you want to be within that one kilometer radius to Mito Primary, you want to be the top floor, that leaves you with only 16 units out of the 747 units, making it a very rare niche product, about 2.14 percentile of the entire development right here that fulfills these criteria. There are also other primary schools such as Edgefield Primary, Greendale Primary, Horizon Primary, Oasis Primary as well as Waterway Primary. So definitely plenty of school choices for you and your family as well. In terms of living in the Pongo Township itself, one of the few towns in Singapore where you have the LRT system, the Cardalot LRT station is right at your doorstep. That takes you just three LRT stops to the Pongo MRT. In the near future, Pongo will also be the interchange station with the Cross Island Line. If you're of course driving as well, you can easily connect to the TPE which then takes you to KPE. So whether you are driving or if you are taking the public transportation right here from Pongo, I think this is definitely a town that's easily connectable to all parts of Singapore. Coming back to our unit, let's have a look around the place. What our owners have done, they have connected one of the common rooms to form an interconnecting kind of a study, wardrobe as well as a dresser, plus the master bedroom combined with the ensuite master bath. That leaves you with another common bedroom, living and dining zone, a balcony space as well as a beautiful kitchen, additional WC home shelter towards the back area and of course a yard area for you to do your clothes drying as well. Lay it on me, I'm listening. I got a good ear, come give it a bend. I can listen all day till you tell it to me Back into the living room space, I love this wall panelling that's been done up. A lot of meticulous details have been put in such as this beautiful switches in rose gold and this very nice brown tonality. A lot of additional power sockets have also been input into the home itself. The walls here are also covered in very beautiful textured kind of a wallpaper. This will of course stay with the home as well. Your couch area, this is like a super huge three-seater L-shaped couch. If you're having guests over to do some Netflix kind of showing or gathering with your friends, of course you can put in more seating areas such as beanbag. Moving on, of course, let's head out to the balcony space.
So what owners have done is they've put their dining table right outside over here. Beautiful kind of swa wood table. You can definitely put in a six-seater right here. Zip tracks have also been done already. What I also love is that there's a lot of very beautiful natural finishes done up. You even have this very beautiful plant wall. They have also been decked up in this how like kind of decking. Very nice pebbles also strewn along the entire border of this balcony. In terms of exposure-wise, this is facing towards the southwestern direction. Over on the, the right side, you see an open field. And over towards the left, that is actually the roof garden space. A lot of greenery as you actually look out from your balcony space. There are only a few different facings you can get. Interior facing, which is where we're actually facing into. There's like a yoga deck, quiet zones of the facility. If you want something internal facing, facing somewhere a little bit quieter, away from the main roads, then I think this probably is one of the choices that you want to come check out. Coming back in, something our owners have also done is this thing called the marble gum. It's a finish that allows you to flatten the grouting of your towel. There is no groove lines when you're actually walking at home bare feet. If you head into the kitchen space, The terrace has very beautiful kitchen. This entire wall line, it's all flushed in a very beautiful glass see-through. Allows a lot of natural light into the kitchen. Towards the back end, that's where you'll find a home shelter. It should be more convenience for you. You have the WC. Washer space is tucked below your kitchen countertop. This is the ideal yard zone for you to do your clothes drying because you have a huge window here. Moving on towards the kitchen countertop zonings right here, you have like an L-shaped panel with which area that's tucked away in this corner with the top spaces being fully usable with casement doors as well. Lots of countertop space. Three burner from Tika. Hood and hop. We also have the inbuilt oven below from Tika as well. We have open shelving, casement doors at the top and bottom as well of the cabinet. Switches are all hidden behind this one, hides it away from sight as well. And not forgetting, of course, your sink zone is located right here in the middle. Faucets are from Grohe. Something to note is that the house also has been installed with some of these smart features. Alexa, turn kitchen lights to warm. <laughs> So there are three main areas where Alexa controls the lighting. The kitchen, the living room, as well as the master bedroom. Oh, it's also a sliding door that's already been done up right here. And heading into the bedrooms. You'll notice all the wall lines right here, they're all laid with a wallpaper. Heading into the common bedroom, the room can comfortably actually fit up to a queen size bed. Right now, it's actually used like a little nursery. Full height wardrobes are tucked away in this corner, which I think is great, doesn't jut out into the walkway spaces. The same facing as your balcony. In the common bedrooms, there is also a different texturized kind of wallpaper. You have that baby cot area and you have this armchair. You even have this huge uh, whiteboard for your kids to kind of play. So I think the common bedroom sizes here are great. A very functional, squarish kind of rooms. Your common bathroom. Common bathroom sizes are great as well because you have space for all these different storages. A shelf here for you to display aroma diffusers and things like that. Solid surface countertop with the sink already done up. Faucet and your shower system all from Gohe. At the bottom, of course, you have the vanity shelves. Two huge panels of windows for you to dispel your moisture after your bath as well. Before we show you around the master bedroom, let's also have a look at what are some of the comparatives in the area right here in Pongo. We are listed at 1.368 million, which puts our PSF about 1271 per square foot. In the Amore, River Park residences, as well as River Isles condo, price ranges are from 1.15 million to 1.4 million. Floor residences, price ranges between 1.18 million to 1.4 million. Privé as well as Water Bay, price ranges are about 1.3 to 1.5 million. You might be looking at some of the ECs that have already been launched. Piermont Grand in Pongo Ola, which is in the Sengkang region. These two price ranges from about 1.3 to 1.4 odd million, putting its PSF at about 1,002 to 1,300 per square foot. Park Greenwich, which is in the Salita region, going at about 1.268 million onwards. There's an upcoming EC at Tampany Street 62. An estimated launch price in the range of about 1,002 to 1,300 per square foot. This is what we call the disparity effect. Once these new ECs that are stated to TOP, most of the owners will be asking at least about 2 to 300 per square foot above their initial buy-in price. Mid-floor level, let's say at about a price range of about 1.26 million, 25% down payment, that will work out to be about 315k. Taking a loan of 75%, that will work out to be about 945k. Monthly mortgage using a 2% interest rate over 30 years tenure, that works out to be about 3493 per month, 116 per day. Our top floor, three bedroom premium unit, asking at 1.368, 25% down payment, will come up to be about 342,000. 75% loan will then put us at about 1.026 million. 
million. Monthly mortgage using 2% interest rate stretched over 30 years tenure. That works out to be about $3792 per month, $126 per day. And in terms of mortgage differential per month, about $299, $10 per day. Moving back, let's have a look at this very beautiful master bedroom. You have this very nicely built in, almost like a clothes boutique rack system. At the back, you can also shut this. You have plenty of storage, casement doors on the upper levels, drawers on the lower levels. And in the second zone of the master, built in study zone, wood grain kind of finish. You have shelvings for you to display. You also have storages at the top that are flipped up. For your desk area, it's almost like an L shaped zone. There's also this built in dresser space. Internally, there's a huge space to put in all various forms of makeup. Below your desk spaces, there are also drawers that have been already installed. The third zone, if you follow me, is this very beautiful feature walls these are all laminates done up beautiful LED backlight as well Alexa turn master bedroom lights to blue of course we need a PLB blue right okay. here okay you also have wall lights already installed beautiful brass finish you also have switches located right here power sockets already installed and over on the other side what you also have is the two-way switches for the room so you can simply turn off the entire room light from the comfort of your bed this is of course the developer standard wardrobe what our owners have done is they also installed this very nice little wood grain finish cubby hole heading on to the master bathroom master bathroom is also very good size lots of storage spaces behind the mirror vanity also already done up faucets and your shower systems are from Grohe as well storage spaces below the vanity and not only that look at the windows behind they're simply huge they're already frosted so you have your privacy while still allowing natural light into the master bath so i think that's great as well If you're looking to live within the terrace, like what are some of the facilities you can find for you and your family right here? You get your barbecue pits, your 50 meter beach pool, you have an origami pool, aqua gym, kids pool, waterfront gym, as well as karaoke room. So I think the terrace have plenty of facilities to cater to you and your family. Just to sum up, if you're looking for a 3 beta right here in the Pongo region and you want to be within the 1km radius again of Mito Primary, you love to be on the top floor of the entire development, keeping your price quantum below the $1.4 million mark. Come check out this place with us. Our links to our listing managers are located right down below. And if you enjoyed Home Tours here with us at Property Limb Brothers, then do remember to follow, hit the like and subscribe button. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram as well as TikTok. I'm Mark from Property Limb Brothers and as always, happy to show you the place. Take care. So in the end, <laughs> sorry. You can even teach them to vacuum the floor right here. And then some. Yeah, I think this is great. It is a little short, but I didn't know Dyson makes like kitty toys as well. <laughs> or even this cute little guy over here. I don't know why there's so much makeup, but you can store a lot of makeup right there.